Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Gone in 48 Minutes. My goal is simple. Dotted around Los Santos, there are six cars. I've got to try and steal as many of them as I possibly can within one day of GTA 5 time, which equates to about 48 minutes of real time. Uh, we're going to set off at half past 12 uh, and yeah, go and try and steal these vehicles. We have a, a selection of incompetence going on over there. Uh, we have a selection of hunters that are going to be given chase in kind of in general. Each of the cars has a guard by it. Uh, like the owner of the car is a guard by that car uh, who I can either choose to kill or I can try and grab the car quickly before they can do anything. Uh, when their car is stolen, they will join in the general chasing, if you will. So I'm going to be trying to blend in with traffic because I can't steal a car while I've got a bunch of people chasing me, so I'll have to get away from them. Uh, when I stole on a car, I take it to the Simeon docks, and once it is there, uh, it is uh, it's kind of captured. It is mine. Uh, they're not allowed to follow me down to the dock. So I can kind of do it. The, the Simeon docks is like a chase breaker, if you will. For me. I did not really want to go and crash into that car, uh, but there we have it. Right, we are going to head into the city. On the screen currently, and it'll flash up at various points, probably when I'm talking about it, we will have a map. Now I have a map of where the cars are roughly located, there's little circles to tell me the rough area a vehicle is in, and the colour of vehicle that I am looking for. Uh, no, it's not a perfect location, and around that location somewhere there's going to be a guard. They could be relatively close, they could be a little further away, they could be parked in a car across the road ready to shoot me. Uh, we will have to see how it all goes. Um, that actually looks like a heart. Oh wait, hold on, is that... that might be a... Mm, that's suspicious. I'm worried it's like a... one of like the random little mission bits that prop up in, in online, and I don't really want to go and do that. Uh, I want to find a car, something I can blend in with. Uh, so, until I've stolen a vehicle, even if they spot me, they're not going to be able to chase me. So they can't chase me until I've done something wrong, essentially. Until I've stolen a car, done something illegal. Whoa! I say illegal, as I have a dumb accident. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean! You know, actually, I might steal that car that's behind me. Uh, let's just go for... I don't know. That, that looks suitably. Put the gun away, you plank. No, no, come here. I want your car. Uh, so we're going to drive around. Well, uh, convertibles are a bit risky, but there's also a, a theory, a thinking that if I'm driving, you know, if I'm going to steal a car, am I going to get a convertible? Unlike, or less likely because it's quite exposed. So by driving it, I'm actually kind of less likely to be get, get spotted. If that makes sense, I know it's a little bit convoluted, but kind of, yeah. Uh, right. So we are going to be heading towards. It's the white and red car that I am aiming to get, which I think... God, I'm going to try and figure out where I'm going now. <laughs> I think if we head down this road ahead of us, that drops us straight onto the circle. Yeah? Pretty sure that does. That bullet was in a real hurry. Christ, that bullet really was in a massive hurry. So yeah, this road should drop us down. If we take a left, we should be able to see where the car is. Now, I've got to figure out where not only where the car is, but where the guard is. Uh, I ideally want to take the guard out before we steal the car. If we don't, uh, the guard could, well, will be able to alert everybody as to exactly where I am, what I'm driving, all of that sort of good stuff. And uh, they will... Oh, that's a little bit janky by me. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Is it at the top of that those car parks, do we reckon? for a red and white vehicle. But yeah, I want to take the guard out if possible. Sometimes, you know, it can be advantageous, it can work just to go run and jump into a car and flee. Basically, that might be something that I end up going for. We'll have to wait and see. At the moment, I can't see a vehicle here. I can't see the vehicle that I'm looking for, shall we? I can see lots of vehicles. Where is the car that I am looking for? Uh, I can't spot it. It could be... It can be anywhere, it can be the other side. Oh, someone's blowing up my car. It could be the other side. I'm pondering whether it would go on one of the top parts of these car parks. Could it be up there? I mean, I'd be tempted. If it was my car, I'd be tempted to. Can't turn. Can't make the turn I want to there. Hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Now, I mean, I don't want to waste too much time here, really, if I can help it. 
Uh, there is one of the hunters. Now, we are allowed to do that turn. Uh, where is this car? <laughs> As I said, it can be slightly further down. Um, a, uh, yeah, it could be slightly further down, sort of in towards the shops area. Come on, Super Diamond, let's go. I'm in a hurry. Uh, is it... I, I, uh, I get the feeling it's going to be on top of one of these roofs on these car parts. At least I get a good view coming this way. We can see it's definitely not on top of that one. So it looks like red and white. I mean, it's going to... So it's very much non-AI vehicle. It's very much going to be distinctive. I can see there's alleyways as well down there. That's the sort of stuff that is tempting to look for. Why did the gauntlet do that? Like, why, why is the gauntlet doing that? I'm not sure. Gauntlet's in a hurry, at least. Okay, it's not going to be the Mapuva. So, there's a gauntlet down there. The gauntlet is red and white. That is not the car we're looking for, though. Um, so, the cars that we're looking for are going to be not particularly fast vehicles. It's part of the, the point behind them, is that they're not good cars. Uh, to give the those chasing half a chance. Because I don't have to run very far with anything. I've only just got to get to the Simeon docks. So, they're not going to be using a gauntlet, for example. Uh, <laughs> is it on that roof? That is the real conundrum I have. I can't... I simply can't see up there. There is something red on the roof. There's something parked down there as well. There's a baller with tinted windows. That makes me suspicious. There it is. Okay, I can see the car. Pretty sure it's going to be that phoenix. And I'm pretty sure that baller is where they're going to be sat in. Now, we are at a point here whereby, do I just sneak my way up and go for the steal? They're probably going to have seen where I've gone. The baller is a brave choice of a place to park, because if they haven't paid attention fully exactly where I am, uh, we are going to hopefully sneak away with this one. Uh, right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, we've got to get to the Simeon docks. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think they noticed me turn into that car park. I don't think they've noticed me steal their car. I'm pretty sure they were parked up. I'm pretty sure they were in that blacked-out baller. And that's fine. But, you know, that's absolutely fine by me. We're just going to bolt across the city. Um, awesome. <laughs> Couldn't really ask for a much smoother time here. We follow this road, we can loop this down, and we will be dumped straight at the docks. So unless they've got a roadblock set up, they can do that. They are allowed to set up roadblocks. They know where I'm going. They know the point that I'm at. They know exactly where I'm going. Uh, I'm about to go past all oh, the ballista that we saw earlier that I think had no idea that I was there. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it, though, one way or another. Uh, the, Phoenix, the Phoenix looks fast. This one is unmodified, is not fast. Uh, so that will do quite nicely for me. Uh, we will oh, go over the crest. The blister is somewhere behind us. Uh, now, once we get to the kind of slip road onto the docks, they have to break pursuit and they're not allowed to uh, just stay around. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close from the Sand King. It wasn't ever quite going to be enough. Uh, whoop, and bounce and bounce, and here we go. We are safe. We have got one car stolen. Whew. Efficient, efficient thievery. Slightly disappointed I couldn't have got it uh, away completely without being spotted, but I guess somebody was going to be around somewhere. Uh, so, there is that. Right, we are going to drop the car off, and oh, we are going to have, we're going to have a, uh, what's it called? I forgot the name of it. Intruder? Oh, that's pretty good. Not quite the Phoenix Brigade we had last time, but I'll take an intruder when I can get one. Right. Okay, map time. Where are we going to go next? Uh, hmm. Right. Door. Door. Closed. Thank you. Where do we want to head off to? Do we go? I want to save the brown car maybe for... Uh, maybe do we go to the air, airport one? The airport one looks promising. 
So the time... I actually completely forgot what time I set off. <laughs> what time did I set off at, folks? <laughs> Crap. Is that past 12? Was it? I think. Um, I should make a note of these things. I really bloody should. I can also hear a cat doing things. A cat should... Cat? Which cat is causing trouble? Abaddon, is it you? Are you scratching at something? It sounded like a cat was playing with cardboard. Oh! Abaddon's on the desk! Kitten! No, don't step on keyboards, you might turn off recording. People will be very sad. Kitten, can you not be... Uh, I'm in the wrong pissing lane for this. Uh, kitten, can you be good boy? Please, hold on, I've got to rescue a kitten. Kitten has... As I go to pick up Kitten, Kitten has left the desk. So Kitten is being good boy, at least. That is something. Right, uh, we want to go and take a left up here. And then I think we'll be on track to head towards our next target. So we're going for the blue car. It's down somewhere by the airport, but I'm not exactly sure where. Uh, it's somewhere by the entrance. It's, uh, it's kind of under the slip roads, which makes me think that it's probably in one of those big car parks. So if we hook a left here, we follow this road around, uh, we can get to the airport. We're going to have to faff around, though. There's no real... G oh, no, I guess we could jump off. So... I don't want to go to the airport via those, but the main slip roads, basically. I want to go by one of the alternate routes because we know it's not going to be on a slip road. Uh, so if we jump off, take a slightly earlier turning, go to the... Yeah, if we go to the airport via that kind of service road that goes by the arena. That's what I'm thinking here. Now, of course, I've stolen a car, which means this is essentially survive the hunt rules for me. It means that we are being, well, hunted as we would be. So I've got to kind of blend in. I can't just go and run because I go and run towards the next car and then get immediately spotted. I think I've actually taken a slightly wonky turn. Not quite where I thought. No, no, wait. If we follow this around... Yeah, follow this around and then go to the right rather than following it to the across the bridge. I am where I thought I am. Never mind. Um, yeah, I can't just go charging across to the next car because if I get to the next car location and they... Yeah, I've got three cars chasing me. I can't go and steal a car. I'll get shot. So we've got to kind of blend in, but we've got to try to hurry. It's a really tough balancing act. It's a really tough balancing act between uh, urgency of trying to steal cars and sneakiness, essentially. Uh, we want to go into this lane, I think. So we want to go past these, because this is all dead ends. Because uh, that's all, like, the big, just all the big refinery. I don't really know that area very well. So we're not gonna we're gonna avoid that. Oh, is there no way down? Oh crap! Ah, oh, bugger! We're on the wrong. We're at too high an elevation. I'm in the wrong lane, and I can't bloody change easily. Oh, there's gonna be a train as well. No, 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 no! This is costing me very valuable time. Ah, oh, crap! I mean, we're at red light, I guess. Anyway, to begin with. I guess maybe if we do go in via the slip roads, we can at least... Uh, it's the alt uh, alternate plan. It's not, uh, it's not easy to get to any of the alternate places, really, from here. I guess the one thing I could do... It's a little bit of a gamble if there's anybody watching. Does it look like there's anybody around? Uh, can I be sneaky? There's no one watching. We can potentially go for a little bit of sneaking. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, but I really don't want to be where I was. So, we're going to take a couple more risks. We're going to try and get across there. Can I actually get up, though, where I want to go? That is a bigger question. I'm not 100% sure if I can. And I have just dinged up my car. Uh, that's a little concern for me. Okay, maybe we should have played a little bit more cautiously. The road. It's quite a long drive back up onto the road part here. The good news is it's going to night, uh, which means the slight ding on the front is going to be a lot less noticeable. Oh, I could have made it across. Maybe go across and made a turn there and come down here. I think I actually could have done. That was all unnecessary. Why did I think that? Oh, who knows? Ignore me. I'm a plank. It doesn't really matter. We're here now. <laughs> We've got there a slightly wonky, I think unnecessarily complicated way. Um, yeah, why do uh Yeah. Who knows? I th yeah, got a bit around. So we're looking for a dark or a bluish colour car. I say a dark blue, and I think it's just a blue car. Uh, that is gonna be somewhere. It's 
going to be something distinctive. It's going to be somewhere underneath those slip roads. I'm pretty sure in those big car parks. Now, if we can spot the guard, that would be really helpful. If I can take out the guard efficiently, um, run to the vehicle and get out of there, fantastic. We haven't got too far to go here in terms of getting to the Simeon docks. Uh, so that's something in all of this. Now, I've gone for this car here more than some others, perhaps, by virtue... Well, let's say by virtue, but the plan being is that they're not going to expect it. They're expecting me to go to the far cars and kind of get gradually closer, which, while tactically speaking, a good idea in terms of um, trying to predict what I'm going to do, it is easier to sort of guess that I'm going to run that strategy. At the moment, I can't see a vehicle, and this is the problem with these car parks, is that there's no actual roads for me to kind of drive down. Uh, I might have to walk around on foot a little bit. I don't really like to be on foot, but we may have to, because if it is in one of these, I'm not going to necessarily be able to see it easily. Definitely can't see it over here at the moment. Hmm. I don't know how far it extends down. Well, I can see how far it extends down, but I think we're now starting to get a little bit out of the circle. It certainly doesn't look like anything in here. Hmm. Okay. We'll loop around. We'll have a look from the kind of front. Uh, see if that can give me any clues. Where does it stop? So it does stop before we get... Okay, it could actually be in these car parks as well. I'm presuming it's in a car park. It might not be, but that is the kind of likely assumption. Uh, it doesn't... Okay, so it doesn't look like it's in that one. What is that? Hold on. the hell was that? There was like a van with the side open. Now, it looks weird. And one thing I have learned in this is if it looks weird, we should probably go and investigate it. Okay, so that is what we're trying to steal. Now, unfortunately, that big ping, I know what Lado was trying to do. It's quite a clever little plan, actually. He was blending in with the people. Thankfully, I kind of know what the uh, person looks like, what Lado's character looks like. This is not fast. Uh, the doors are stuck. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Where is... Oh, God, this is really slow. Lester, my good, my good man. I don't really want to have to deal with police while I'm driving I'm a clapped-out van. Back, um, How can I help? Quite why this is oh, hey, my target, I don't know. Okay. Uh, who wants I'll a stolen crapmobile like this? <laughs> but we have got it. Uh, what way do I want to actually get out of here? It's not easy to leave this area. Um, whoop! Regina! Hello! We have climbed over the back of you. I did actually just see a hunter car, something pink, pretty sure, shot off in that direction. Yeah, there it goes. Um. That's going to be a problem. Oh, we've got a ballista in front of us. They're going to be trying to set up a sort of roadblock, uh, if you like. It was something pink. I've rolled it over. We've got to get across in front of the train. I can't wait. Um, in all of this, definitely no way we're going to be able to wait for that. We've punted the ballista out of the way. The gauntlet's going to give us some nudges. Primo, we're going to lean on you. That's fine. Oh, come on, Van. I, okay, I regret my decision to go for this. It's not quick. It's really not quick, but we haven't got to go very far. This is the plus point with this one. Oh, it has gone for a spin, though. Come on, Van. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do not let the ballista bully you. Uh, we have not got very far to get before we can oh, lose the cars. The gauntlet's on its side. The gauntlet is really trying its best. Ballista's smacked the side of the van. It is putting us into the wall. Come on, roll the gauntlet, the gauntlet's fallen over! <laughs> We've rolled the gauntlet twice now. Uh, come on, Van. Come on, Van. Just keep moving. This is all we've got to do here, is just keep going. They've only got two cars. It's probably not going to be enough to 
stop the van completely. It's not. They've pinned it a little bit, but it's not. It's not going to stop it. The van is clear. The van is at the docks. It has made it, and there is nothing they can do about it. You're done. You're done. We've got here. You know. <laughs> God, this thing was slow. That was tough. That was really tough. It's a resilient bugger. I'll give it that much. Uh, but yeah, that was costly. It's cost us a lot of time. That oh. It's taken us a lot of time. It's taken a lot of time to do that. Ugh, right. What is the plan? What is the plan next? Where do we go? I feel like we've got to go for one of the further cars uh, this time out. Uh, we will go for a... Well, we're going to grab the Stanier that's here. Which is... Uh, yeah, Stanier rather than a C? Sure. We're going to grab the Stanier. Actually, what I might do as well... Can I do this? Oh, I wonder if I can do it because I started, the end of the, started it before I got in the car. But we'll change clothes after the next one. I don't know how well they'll have seen me, my person. Lado certainly won't have seen anything to be able to tell them. The rest, maybe a little bit, but not much. Right, okay, where are we going to go next? We've got the blue and we've got the white and red. Do we go... Do we go for the kind of wine red car all the way at the top of the map? They won't be expecting that. That's kind of the principle I'm working on here. I don't think it's going to get me as many cars, but it might get me completed it, if that makes sense. So if we just follow this road straight all the way up to the top of the map, uh, the, top of the top of the thing, we might be able to get that. And then afterwards, uh, if we can get the wine red car, and then we go and maybe get the yellow car, because what I can do, I have a plan for the yellow car. Uh, my plan for the yellow car is a little bit unorthodox, but might work. So the yellow car's on the beach. Now, I finish off by the docks. If I can nab a boat, I don't know if a boat spawns, though, but if I can nab a boat, I can actually just boat my way around. Saves me a lot of time. Don't have to worry about the whole um, people seeing me kind of thing. But I've got to nab a boat, and I don't know if boats spawn around the city and docks. I don't think they do, but it'd be really helpful if one did. I guess the other alternative, if I, as I say, the other alternative would be go to the marina, steal a boat, but the marina's basically next to where I've got to go anyway, so... Yeah, that this is my thinking. We're going to go for the kind of wine red car in the north, we're going to boat our way around to the yellow car, and then we're going to do a last minute sort of smash and grab, hopefully on the brown car. That's ambitious, though. It'll depend on what we've got time-wise. I mean, we're about halfway in, so... You know, we're not quite halfway, but we're getting there. Um, I think it is half twelve. I really am professional, I promise you. Uh, we're in a little bit of a hurry now. I, I don't want to really sit in traffic if I can help it. Now, this wine wine red car is up at the very... It's past... or it's actually near the casino by the looks of it. It's just the other side of the casino, basically. So we think... I'm thinking... There's a big car park over there. It could be in that. Uh, it could be in one of the... Alley okay, so it's... The circle is basically by the police station, I think, but it's next to a... That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> That's not one of the cars I'm supposed to steal. That's just a hunter car that has been abandoned. I guess they're swapping out to something uh, unmodified, you know, like more traffic-wise car. Ooh, truck, hello. You have scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Don't do that, please. Look, I'm only a little stanny yet. A little standing here that doesn't want to be stuck in traffic. I'm going to be the arsehole that's chopping and changing lanes all the time. But I am in a smidge of a hurry here. I kind of have to do this sort of stuff. I have to hope that nobody's around to see me because if I get spotted, I really can't afford a chase outside of the I'm running away with a car kind of chases. At least here there's a separate lane for turning left so we don't get the cars trying to overtake me and give me away potentially. Um, come on, lights. I've been patient now. We've got to go try to steal a car. We hit a fairly straight shot all the way back here, um, all the way back to the docks, which is something. I might be tempted to take a slight alternate route. It will depend on how things go. Like, if I take a, a slightly different route, um, one that's less expected, I may have less trouble with cars trying to stop me. So we might try that. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane here. Oop, I don't want to go... don't want to go uh, right there. Okay, that lane could have stayed. Could have stayed that lane. I don't know what the road mark is going to be around here, so we're just trying to, just trying to make as much progress as I can through the. What is, oh, for a second I thought that standing here. Did a handbrake turn? Why, you lunatic? 
Why would you do such things? I don't know. Um, sure. Okay, making good progress. Oh, Primo has turned up. Hello. It's really easy to just forget that there is actually the... They are still hunting me anyway here. Now, of course, they don't quite have the same... Um, I say advantages. They don't have aircraft in this one that is useful for, for the chases and the scouting, kind of. Uh, but... I can still get spotted at any point here. I've still got to, and this is why I've got to be careful, I've got to pick and choose my moments of being brave or doing something a little bit rash, because you never know when there's going to be one of them around, and as I said, if we get in a chase, an unnecessary chase, then I'm in trouble. Yes, I can run back to the docks, and I probably would, to be honest with you. However, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get into that situation, so we will have to wait and see how things go. So, we got to take a turning that we're coming up to somewhere here. Uh, we've got to try and get... Uh, yeah, if we take... So, if we take a right here, we follow this road up, it should spit us out almost directly to where I want to be. It's not the right one to the motorway here, but uh, the next one, I'm going to take again. that um, <laughs> orange light. That'll work for me. We'll do that. So, yeah, if we take a right here, we'll follow this road up. And then at the end of it, we take a left, and the car should be... We're basically in the circle. Cool. What could go wrong? Oh, I, I'm, an, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I always reacted to the green lights on the set ahead of me. You plank. Nope. Oh, there we, I think there's a blister, actually, that's going around. We've seen the blister a couple of times. Um, there is something here. Oh, there's a couple of funky-coloured headlighted cars going on. Ooh. I don't like that there's so I say so many of them. I don't like the amount of them that are around currently. Makes me a smidge uncomfortable for what I'm about to do in terms of vehicle sting. Although by the time I've got up there, by the time I've set up to go and steal the car, um, we should. Excuse me, bloody hell, trucks! Do you want to get any closer? Is it an Audi truck? No, then don't sit there. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, I always spun the wheels. Right. Oh, where are we going to... Where? How am I going to... So I've also got to think, not just about where the car might be, but if I spot the car, I've got to figure out where can I stop that's not going to give me away. Where can I have a sensible... Oh, there's a little bit of a red light run there, but... Screw it. So we want to take... A... Left here, and I've got to really be looking for this car. So I'm expecting it to be. I hope it's not in the police station, that would be horrific. I'm expecting it to be in this car park over here or down the alleyway. There it is, okay. Is that one of them? I think it is. I think the, the red jacket is the, per is the guard. Now, if it is, it's a good disguise. It is a good plan. Is there an alleyway? There is an alleyway there. Sweet. Okay. Oh, did not realise I had a radio on. Right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... I say I'm pretty sure. I'm not. But I do believe that... Yeah, the, per the, the red-jacketed person was a guy. Just the way they were standing. I think they were smoking, which is an animation you can do. Um, are they still there? Hmm, may have moved. Alright, hey, this is a risk. I can't see the guard, but we're just going to go for the car here. I'm expecting there to be some bullets pinging my way. Oh, it's actually boxed in there on that. Um, yeah, not 100% sure where the guard may have been. Was that one of them? No, it was just somebody having a smoke in a suspicious location. Uh, <laughs> I think then maybe they were in a car park somewhere around. Ooh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. Uh, car, let's be good. Let's be good. We've got to try and deal with a mup of that's giving us all sorts of grief. I didn't really want to go this way. Uh, this isn't ideal for me, but we can still do something with it at least. This is the plan here. Uh, not quite where I wanted to be, but... Uh, we're close enough. Oh, don't go in the water! <laughs> oh, there's a lot of cars up there. Oh, okay, we cannot push the Prima. I thought this was going to be stronger than that. Uh, we are going to have to 
bail out of this. This is a bad place that we've found ourselves in. This car does not turn. Why is my guy... I can't... What is my guy doing? Put your arm back in the car, you useless plank. You can't duck in this car. There we go. Get in... Oh, it's a low rider. Oh, so I can't duck or just piss around with the hydraulics. That's not good for me. I think we're dead. Um... I know there's a sign there. I've got to do something here. At the moment, they're really struggling to box the car in, which is a plus for me. Uh, oh, oh. Go on, Ballista. Into a tree with you. Oh. Okay. Thank you. That's what we needed. That has helped massively. We've just bought time. We've bought so much time with that. For considering where we were, at least, that's a lot more time than we had. Awesome. Let's get up here. Let's get off of this... Oh no, we've gone the wrong way. That's fine, that's fine. Panic and change direction, change your mind. It's all okay, we can do this. We have... Oh, we've got a lot of cars behind us. Okay, oncoming traffic, be my friend here. Please, please be my friend. Please cause them grief. Don't bump me. Uh, we need to find a way. I need to find a way across. We didn't get it, we got pushed. I was going to go up the slip road, but I couldn't. It doesn't actually matter too much, though, if we do go the whole way down here. Uh, because the road... Oh, they've had a huge wreck behind us. Big, big crash for a lot of them uh, giving chase. Oh. Get into a slightly more difficult place to take us out. The blister is there still. If we can make this next corner... Uh, not quite next corner, but it's the, ne the next turn is the one that we want here. Uh, get this corner done safely, which we do. Oh, come on! I don't know what this is called. I can't remember. Uh, the ballista's on the rear bumper. We won't survive the same beating that we took in the van. There's too many of them around us at the moment. Uh, they are boxing the car in. Momentum is still with us. The momentum has gone from us. Uh, we have got to get moving here. There's so many cars that they're having issues. Someone's got out of the vehicle. Oh, someone has done a shot at us. Come on! Move, you pile of junk! Uh, the Sand King is pushing us in all of this. We are in trouble right now, but we're still going. Come on! We're pinned. Ah. Well, we tried. There's just too many of them. We got really, really close, um, but there were just far too many of them in the end. It's unlucky uh, that one. That's just, that car was too slow. To deal with uh, to deal with that many vehicles coming at us, uh, yeah, I didn't really have many choices in terms of where I could go either. Um, it was kind of yeah that one, unfortunate, but uh, that is the uh, the way that it goes sometimes with this. We got two vehicles out. Um, maybe I should have gone with the boat strategy, tried to get the the yellow car first. Well, it's a long drive for the yellow vehicle, and um, so there is that. But uh, there we go. That is is that. We did not uh, steal too many cars, sadly. That uh, that will be it for this for this video. Thank you all uh, very much for watching. I thank you Longbow as well for putting the map together uh, for this one. The tried stealing of the cars. Uh, that sh shall be it from me though. Until next time, a uh, goodbye. Well, this particular session of car stealing and attempted survival may not really have quite gone to how I would have liked it to, not quite gone to a plan. Uh, of course, I can't quite end the video at this juncture though, because, well, if I do, the timestamp, before you even click on the video, will give it away that it didn't quite work out. So, because of that, we have got some extra little filler pieces uh, to go in here. We have <laughs> at Lado discussing a great idea that didn't quite go as great. And we have some extra races from Team Adventures that haven't been released uh, thrown in for some added entertainment at the end of this one. What have you seen, Dan? I'm just behind you. What? Are you? I was. When I said it, I was. What's with it was literally just very... Yeah. What's with the blown what up back in here upside down? I blew it because it was brown. Alex just went nick off with that. I was like, oh, that's not like that. <laughs> You're in I have a, one of these. I have a question. Yeah. It was no, a matter of language, it was an AI. Yeah. But there was a comment that okay. was very weird. What is your question about the sword? What is your question? <laughs> if I, yeah, I'm if in I the ran up to my car and I got in and Alex drives off and I'm in the car with him.
What's happened then? then? It was just uh, uh, you, you, you can can create the intro to the story mode, basically. And it's <laughs> I, I'll be honest, <laughs> you're the back of the deck. I'll be honest, right? Like, my van is, like, right in front of me. Uh, you're going to get shot. I've got oh, the well, doors you open. Get, you are definitely going to No, I'm, I'm, hit by, I'm hit by... I'm, I'm hidden. I've got no, two okay. pedestrians next to me. Yeah, but he's just gonna he's lights, gonna all lock on to the camera nearest person. Action. <laughs> oh, he's he camera didn't action. have a gun out. He didn't have a gun out to steal mine, but it's probably because no, he didn't see what you thought was this. Yeah, it's well with. Not so. Can I open and close the doors as he drives it as if he's driving the power wires? Watch. I think he's annoying. Took a corner of map 10. See if he falls out by opening the door. I was definitely lucky one. Something wrong with this car, the doors keep opening and closing. Don't blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on moonlight. Don't blame it on the bloody. Blame it on you. Blame it on blame it on the bumpy. Blame it on buggy. Don't blame it on sunshine. What if what if I just sit in the back of the van and just wait for it to nick it? Like with the doors open, <laughs> oh, the doors shut. That's just being, that's just being the creepy top. You're in the back of a van. Yeah. Is that like reverse kidnapping? Right, right away then. He's <laughs> just driving to the dock. <laughs> but like, I don't think, I don't do think do Alex that. will know I'm in there until I fucking jump out at the dock. Where even is your vehicle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be fucking hilarious. Oh, I think that would be fucking hilarious. I just get in. Alex would be like, there's someone in the fucking van. I've just seen a brown banana. Go through a junction quite quickly. Uh, sure. Oh, I'm oh. 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 I told you. I, I knew what I saw. There was a <laughs> tree nearby when I was at the airport. Where, where, was his, where was his vehicle? Oh, where was his vehicle? Was that was at the airport. You, you can join in the chase. Where about it? I've never found that. I can join back in the car park. Yeah. that airport? Airport. Lodo, was he? Was it? Was your car in the car park? Uh, yeah, my car was, dead. Was, am I allowed to say that? Yeah. 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 We head to the Tarn Hells at Scramble Circuit. Uh, maybe one of the better chances for the for the Clio. We start quite well up. Uh, the Sentra front wheel drive doesn't have any tyres, so we can forget about that one here. Um, it's of course Tarn Hells. Yes, there is a small section of tarmac, but it is, I don't know, 80% dirt. Uh, yes, there's an uphill text, uh, section sorry, on the tarmac, but that's never going to be anywhere close to enough. So I'm hoping we can get the lead. Uh, I feel like we've probably got the measure of the cars ahead of us. The BMW might not be on rally tyres either. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Bye, Holly. It's how fast is the 350Z? How quick is that? Can I keep control of the Clio? Will it get a little twitchy? Uh, that is part of the reason why I have it set up. I say uh, why I wasn't too fussed about the front air. The, the V6 can be a very or the i6, I should say. Uh, I guess now it can be a very twitchy car. It's better in Horizon 4 than in previous Forza games, uh, but even then, oh, sorry, Austin. I forgot the Austin's actually very good on the dirt. And here comes that uh, Nissan. I uh, don't really want to get into trouble with my teammates' cars if we can help it. The Austin goes for a super. Super narrow line through there. That does not normally work so well. Fair play to the Austin uh, Healy here. Oh, we've got to really run out of the final corner, though. <laughs> I do not want to yield. In fact, I'm pretty sure we might have been four wide at some point up that hill. We are side by side with the Austin. We are going to lead lab one. We've had to work for it. I don't think we're going to hold it. Oh, I don't think we're going to have the pace overall to match that Austin uh, through these corners. That does seem very, very quick. We're still on the outside through turn one and two. Okay, let's fall back into line. Let's not waste time. You know, the real enemy is the 350Z. Uh, <laughs> that's the one we've definitely got to try and beat. Uh, here we go. Uh, we are out of there. Here comes that Nissan. It's going to look maybe to the high side through here. Uh, we will have to wait and see. We get a Good run out of the hairpin. I mean, this is more like the performance we wanted to see from the clear. The Nissan's still sniffing around looking for a way past. It's not quite got the drive here. This is a tough quarter to overtake on. Uh, oh, the Nissan's going to get both of us here. 
We're not careful of this, then got to go around the outside at the final corner. Might not quite have the run up the hill to do that on the Austin. I wanted to try duck under this, and it's trying to do the same to that classic machine. We've got three very different cars uh, going to battle here. I'm in all sorts of trouble. Out wide, yeah, just got that. My turn to get the little awkward bounce. But we've got a really, I think, a big run. I think the Nissan maybe nudged the Austin slightly wide, and that's why it chose to lift off the throttle there. Don't go for the rolly line. Okay, both me and the Nissan got a little bit of the rolly line. Oh, I hit the rolly mound of dirt on the inside through there. Uh, that was a gamble. I'd hoped we were going to slide through the checkpoint. I knew I had to keep momentum up. I can't afford to to fall back really from this from this group. This has got a really good run out there. Uh, that might be trouble for the Austin if it can't fend it off through here. Although, as we saw, this is a difficult corner to overtake on, and I can now pinch the Nissan and get it kind of stuck in behind the Austin, and we can try and make it go the long way around here. Uh, we are playing currently rear gunner in some regards to the Austin, and if we can sneak anything against the 350Z, then great. We're kind of playing, playing rear gunner by just making the Nissan have to drive compromise. It might actually take the place away into turn one, did not push the Nissan wide, it went wide on its own, it's going to get a better exit though. This fighting is absolutely what the Austin wants to see. The more we're doing this, the less we're challenging the Austin uh, for that first place. I mean, of course I want to win the race, but we want the points for Red. In fact, Red Team have got a massive lead here, we've definitely got the better off-road cars. In fact, in fact, Blue Team's highest placed car is a... Oh, the second highest placed car, sorry, is the front-wheel drive Sentra on sport tyres. Says a lot about their, <laughs> their machines in terms of the off-road stuff. And just not quite working. Oh, let's not do that. Still carrying great speed into there. The Nissan's even wider than I was. One more time around. This has been a wonderful, wonderful race here. We've got one more lap around. Could we throw in a surprise victory? Is the Nissan going to find our way past the Clio? Are we going to end the lap as we started it? Who knows? Uh, we're going to chuck it into turn one. The Nissan's having a look, but I'm trying to shut any thought of that down. Through there, trying to defend as best I can in that section. Uh, we've got to be wary at the hairpin. I think that's where the move is going to come. It's going to get set up out of here, and then maybe done in the hairpin because this is where the Nissan is very strong, and I have not had a great run. Here it goes. They're going to try to get the 350Z around the outside. We're going to throw it into the hairpin as best we can. Oh, okay. We might have might have wandered a little bit wide into the door there. Is not at all what I was going for. Oh, I've actually got the final corner. It was the penultimate corner wrong, sorry. Uh, as well. Uh, yeah, not quite intended to run as far up on the uh, on the hairpin as I did. Can we make anything happen at the final turn? I was going to go for a cutback, but just tagged the back of it. Probably fair to be honest, is a little bit of a squeeze on the hairpin that one. That was an amazing battle. And I mean, we, we did the kind of teamwork. We held up the 350s, and I think that may have been the fastest car there, although it was very close. Oh, great battle, great battle. Dino gets fourth, uh, and it's a good points haul for the red team cars. The Sentra might get fifth, just beats the 190E. That's this. Yeah, I mean, the, the Sentra scoring 300 points, you know, normally 300 points for a car like that. A circuit is not specialised at would be a great a great score, but just yeah, blue team could not score enough points on the on the off road stuff here. Red team will take the adventure victory, but we do have one more race to go. So, for our final race, the Prince's Street Gardens circuit will host our selection of straight six engined machines. I don't know if I might work here. And this is not really a track for the crazy powerful cars. They don't have enough straights, although it's also not the easiest track to overtake on. Uh, of the, I guess, like two main street circuits, uh, this one is tougher to overtake on and sort of acceleration cars can defend around this track. Lap time wise they might, they might struggle a smidge, but you can defend. I, I'm very worried about the 350, of course, expecting that to be fast. The Sentra it might get stuck in traffic. If it gets clean air, it might be not too bad, but this is probably not going to be a Sentra style of circuit. Uh, not really. There's not long enough straights for it. Uh, how some of the other cars might fare, I don't know. I think the 350 might have brushed the wall and just lost momentum. Uh, coming up the hill there. That's a good start for me then. Uh, we will see if we can chase down the Austin. The, we seem to have done better than the Austin on tarmac. That's very good on the dirt. Uh, but when it comes to the tarmac stuff, the Clio does seem that little bit better. Uh, who knows what we will find around here. Uh, if we make sure we get the Clio stopped and turned, 
It's pretty good. You just can't really, you can't really chuck it around into the corners as much. Certainly not as much as the 350Z, perhaps. Uh, come on, use whatever speed we have in this. Where is that missing going to go? We might have to end up doing the whole uh, <laughs> rear gunner job in this one as well. Uh, not real. Yeah, we've definitely got more pace than the Austin around this circuit. It just doesn't have the grip. Maybe that sort of soft suspension helps it on the dirt. It's definitely not helping. It's just moving around too much here. We take a big dive up the inside. Hopefully we can make that work on the exit. We can. I don't know whether the 350 tried to buy into it as well. Uh, it was a little bit of a bigger dive than I would have liked. The <laughs> teammate was very kind. Or the teammate saw it saw it coming and did give space it was possible in that having to give space left the door open for 350 Z. It's, it's difficult though I don't think around this track the Nissan it was going to get stay behind me for, for long enough for me to play rear gun I think we're too much faster than that uh, uh, what's it called Austin there we go alright is the 350 Z going to want to have a dive at turn one no looks like they're happy to try to go to the outside to take a more normal line uh, we will defend that corner uh, relatively well as long as we get off the hairpin because the Nissan, so the Nissan is very quick but it isn't overwhelming speed against us which is important really uh, <laughs> the fact that it doesn't have that overwhelming overwhelming straight line speed means we do get off the hairpin we can hopefully defend down this section not that it's close enough at the moment to do very much uh, come on Cleo around these next couple of turns we go a little bit too much understeer here comes the 350z the only thing is it's caught me at the worst place it's just so difficult to overtake through these final couple of corners uh, we are going to get oh, a bucket load of understeer out of that one not really what i wanted we are going to have to now defend turn one uh, the nissan will try and round this one on the outside it's just not quite going to be able to do it can't quite carry the speed through there now this this lap around we cannot afford that understeer moment we can't really afford that slide moment either this is going to get a good run up to the hairpin now oh no too much understeer mid corner briefly said he's going to stick its nose up the inside <laughs> how comes the drag race oh that is the slide that initially really cost me then we had to start going really defensive uh, we don't want to give this place up without a fight oh, there was a half gap i kind of had to shove the nose in and try something there uh, it was a it was always kind of one of those iffy gaps yeah ah we tried it was a slide coming up the kind of uphill chicane that really got the better of us and yeah not quite another great race between the <laughs> same three cars different finishing oh no wait one more lap i don't completely lost track of my laps don't think it's gonna matter i don't think i've got i think even if we can get to the bumper of the nissan i don't think we can find a way past apparently just can't count today uh, i'm terrible at when you get so engrossed in the battle, it's really easy to just miscount how many laps you've done or whatever. Uh, I still, I, I don't think it matters. I think we're just going to finish in this order now because I don't think I've quite, I don't have quite got the pace to catch the 350Z anywhere around here. Unless there's a mistake, of course, which is possible. But oh, I think then it's just a smidge, a smidge better turning, really. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have gone with the front aero on the Clio and risked the potential twitchiness. I mean, at least it wasn't twitchy. That is something that's always a scare with this. It was a, it was a little sketchy in a couple of places. Ah, there we go. It'll be a second place for us in this one. A good showing and a good a good battle, definitely, for those final two races. Uh, red team will take the victory. The Mad Centra, yeah, not the track for it, but still gets fourth place. Again, you know, 400 points. It's not too shabby uh, around that uh, around that circuit for a car not very well suited. Yeah, I like the Clio. It, it started off, I was worried about it being a bit of an average car. Uh, in the right circumstances, yeah, it isn't too bad, actually. Uh, it got to the twisty stuff and it was definitely more competitive, sort of competitive level that I was hoping it would be at. Uh, I like it. It's certainly not going to be my go-to A-Class car, but it definitely, definitely worked. It wasn't a bad car to drive uh, whatsoever. That, though, is going to be it for this for this team adventure. If you'd like to sign up and take part in the next one, you can via our Discord. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Versus the Community sign-up section, and you can find, uh, well, we can register to, to take part in, uh, in that one. 
That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.